What's up, Let's Talk Podcast? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Jared. Y'all, today is going to be an episode full of shit talking, shit talking, and shit talking. Oh, my God. Now, today we're going to be reviewing a video from Kendra G. And this woman right here wants a good man to time off from dating to work on her temper. Once broke her baby daddy's windows. Excuse me. You know how this is gonna go. Hey, Are you ready? You love this. Just bring your camera. Up. Hey, Are you ready? You love this. Just bring your camera up a little bit so your hair's not gonna. Okay. Oh, are you ready? You got, you got good light. This is what I'm talking about. Yes, right. baby. What's your name, baby? My name is uh my my real name is Susan. What do you want me to call you? I can call you by your name. Sugar. 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 Where are you calling us from? I'm I'm in uh Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Yeah. New Jersey. You have any yes, kids? Baby. I'm sorry. What did you say? Do you have any kids? I have two. How old are you? You want to know something crazy? And you can always tell these type of chicks are crazy. The eye tattoo, the wide ass eyes, and the neck tattoo. It always gives it away. Cuckoo birds always had his shit on them. And then look, she got a nose piercing too. Oh no, she cray cray. Beautiful girls. How old are your two girls? Yes, two beautiful girls. How old are your two girls? Uh, seven and eleven. Okay, both by the same man? No. Two men. Have you ever been married? No. No. What do you do for a living, sugar? I do insurance. Insurance. And how old are you? I'm thirty-four. Thirty-four. And what's your zodiac sign? Aquarius. Okay, so we got Sugar, New Jersey, insurance, mom of two kids by two men, um, 34, is an Aquarius. Yeah. What kind of man you looking for, girl? Just, um, <laughs> just a nice guy. Um, somebody that has, that understands what life is supposed to be about, that understands what a partner is, um, that knows how to be a decent human being. And I don't mind people that are going through certain things, but I can help you through that. But just, you know, a, a good guy, like somebody decent, you know? Ma'am, now you know what I'm about to say. Why do you deserve a good guy after you've kept choosing and had baby by, babies by men they weren't worth a damn? That'll be the main question for any man of self-respect that loves his life, they will automatically ask you, why is it that I'm having to be this guy when meantime, you chose to be with the bad boys, had kids by the bad boys, then slobbered and uh, polished every bad boy's knob that you had kids with, and now you want me to come in, be a good guy, patient, loving, caring, and all this bullshit. Now you want me to be so proper. Bitch, get the fuck out of here. Someone decent. Okay. Yes. What are your deal breakers? My deal breaker is um, domestic violence. Somebody has um, any police history and, and someone that um, doesn't like a woman with children. Okay. Police history, do you mean someone that's once been to jail? Yeah, you know, it's just. Mm, I just, I don't want somebody that deals with police on an often basis. I understand sometimes things happen, but like just, you know, things happen, but just don't make it a habit. No, hell no. Things just don't fucking happen, ma'am. That's where your ass is wrong. Things don't just fucking happen. No, 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 no. Things don't just happen. You cause things to happen. You do some shit that gets your ass arrested. No, things don't just fucking happen, ma'am. We can tell by the damn hood bugger shit you just told, you just said, who you used to dealing with. No. So make it a habit. Okay. Should he look a certain way? I like tall men. Okay. You seem tall. How tall are you? I'm five eight. Okay. Okay. So tall men. Anything else? Just tall. Five eight. I like good teeth. Wait, 
Hey, real quick. <laughs> Someone called you Lauren England. Like, you know, there's Lauren. <laughs> that was funny. Because there's Lauren I can't see the comments. All the comments for me are frozen, but it's fine. Okay, that was funny. Shout out to Lauren London. They yeah, called you Lauren out. England. Beautiful girl. Beautiful girl. Oh, beautiful yeah. gal. The beautiful inside and out. I mean, she's yes. one of the, she's amazing. Uh, but I just thought it was funny that they called you Lauren England. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, should the guy make a certain amount of money? No. You don't care about that? Okay. Let's do the Kendra Cam. All right. All right. So that's the body. Right, so let me see your full body. All right. Okay. All right. We'll see you, girl. All right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> y'all always gonna show that. Y'all be putting y'all butt in my face. Okay. So we can tell why okay. she got a damn why she got two kids. Yeah, I was We can tell why she got two kids and they never been married. She's crazy and got a fat ass. Hmm. There's always the crazy ones that got the fat ass that they got the good coonie got uh, got the good coochie. Hmm. But she'll fuck your life up. Nah. Did this woman right here is a red damn flag. Mm-mm. Fuck with her you want to. You're going to have a damn baby in. She's going to damn bust your windows at your car. I was going to show that. Y'all be putting y'all butt in my face all the time. <laughs> okay. Lauren England, like, should. Lauren England. Should, what was your last relationship? Oh, oh uh, probably like five years ago. Why do you think you've been single for so long? You know, I went through a little, I feel like I'm, I do have, I, I do get angry a little bit. I'm dealing, you know, I, I turn up a little bit and I've been taking myself back from doing that. Okay. So you have an anger problem and you want somebody to just overlook that. And I'm pretty sure you have a damn criminal record. And is that a face tattoo? Or is that that fucking baby hair shit? I think she got a face tattoo too. Uh-uh, nope. So I don't want to do that anymore. Mm, what kind, nope. kind of angry were you getting? I'm confused. I, I, I'll come to your crib like... Yeah, what? I would. You're I, laughing I, What's your well, last name? Well, my, well, my, ch my children's father. I thought I got a pass there. Oh, both of your children's dads? Just one. Did one you in get particular. Arrested? You got no, arrested? no, no, not arrested, but no. You know what? So I had broke his windows in his car, and the cops pulled up, and they told me that he had had these calls before. That's how I found out he was dealing with other women. Because the cops told me, and they were like, "Well, you're not the first woman that was here that did something to his car before." And I that, found that out that penis must have been magical. You know, you only break windows over magical penis. Okay, but real quick, why did you see that face right there? She's still in love with her, so she's still in love with her baby daddy. So if her baby daddy called her back, she still she's still smashing him. These women give themselves away so easily. It is so crazy. Just that look alone, she's still infatuated with this man. So if you came in as a good man, she's still going back to her baby daddy. So why on earth would you damn try to be a good man to this woman and she's still in love, she's still digmatized by her damn baby daddy? That, that don't make sense. She's still in love with her baby. Look at the face that she gave Kendra. Windows over magical penis. Need I say more? Any reasonable, respectable man that's looking at this damn show and seeing her give this face, they already know it's a wrap. 
smash and dash. So hell, don't even do that. Just fucking pass her on back to her baby daddy. Cause that's who she that's who she belonged to. Both of them, in fact, I should say. Nah, she. Mm-mm. And then the fact, on the fact of the matter is that she broke the windows out of this man's car. She's more. She's more capable of doing more than just that. She'll slice your tires, burn your damn car to the ground, fucking break into your house, steal your damn TV, your Xbox, fucking break that shit. She, she'll be the type. Okay, but real quick, why did you break the windows in the car? Because he didn't come outside. Okay, okay were you mad at him before he was supposed to come outside? So you broke his windows out of his car because he wouldn't come outside because you were acting crazy. You breaking the windows didn't make it no, but did wouldn't have made it come out of the house. You dumbass, boy. See, this that crazy shit. Mm mm. I wasn't mad, so I showed up and I asked, I called him, like, yeah, I left the bar, like, I'm trying to come to my baby father, you know? I left the bar. We still dealing with each other a little bit, so, so I wanted, Was somebody in the house? Was there a girl in the house? I didn't know until I came there and the doors were locked. And he wouldn't let you in. So your assumption is he got a woman in the house. And, and because of that, were y'all in a relationship? We were in a half relationship. So technically he he wasn't exclusive to you. Right. Okay, so once you got there, you broke the windows of his car. I gave him the money back though. Oh, you paid for it? Yeah. You paying for him to get his windows repaired doesn't make doesn't make it any difference. The fact of the matter is that you still did it. It's funny how they always be like, oh, I paid for I, I paid for it. That doesn't matter that you paid for it. What matters is the fact that you did it. If you hadn't have done it, you wouldn't have had to pay for it. That's the problem with your thinking. You did it and you had to pay for it when you shouldn't have done it in the first damn place. I don't I don't understand, I don't understand how the hell this shit don't make sense to, sense to these women. If the man's not exclusive with you, a for one he should tell you if he's not being exclusive with you. That should be an automatically get that should be an automatic tall tale sign. He should automatically tell you that. But why would you get out of your character to damn get angry as angry enough? To damn destroy this man's vehicle. That I don't understand. So it made you. So my question is this. Did it make you feel any better. When you did that. Did it make you feel any better. Did it make you feel good. To break somebody else's shit. And then you had to come out your pockets. To pay for it again. Did, did it make you feel good? Oh wait, did it make you? Did it? Did it solve the problem when you broke his windows? No. <sighs> Impulsive. It was two fifty. Then the the next day, I apologized for what I did. I gave him the money back and I moved on. How tall was he? Probably like six, six three. Six three. That's six three. <laughs> Penis had her breaking the car window, child. <laughs> so where y'all at now? Y'all have a child together. Do y'all co-parent well? No. You don't co-parent well. No. Okay. Do you got he got a new woman? I don't know. He blocked me on anything. We don't speak. Well, you did break his windows. I get. So y'all don't even. So y'all don't even co co-parent well. Y'all don't co-parent well, and you still broke his windows. See, this is why I keep my goddamn 
my my this is why I keep my fucking pant my fucking salami in my pants. This is exactly why I do that. Cause I wouldn't want to deal with no crazy ass chick like this. I'm sorry. This is why I keep my dick in my pants. Cause there's women like this that have fucked your life up to the point where she angry as hell because you didn't do something she wanted or you didn't choose her to be your man to be her man and she went crazy. Like, seriously. <sighs> Let's continue. Give her money back. Girl, it ain't that simple. You was crazy. No, but if I, if I see, this is my thing. If I if I if I make a mistake and I fix it, you still broke the windows of my car. You crazy, girl? I don't think so, for real. I don't know. You don't, I don't agree. You think it's crazy to break somebody's car windows? He broke my heart. So, god damn, she's, oof. Yeah, this is an ugly woman. He broke your heart, so you broke his windows. What universe does that shit make sense? So, he broke your heart. You, you, so, hold on. So, he broke your heart, so you broke his windows, and you still were dealing with him. So, yo, so logic didn't kick in and say, he broke my heart, so I'm going to go move on and try to heal myself and then find somebody else. So, you did, so you automatically just go break the motherfucking windows and then <laughs> you can't make this shit up. You, you broke your own heart. You just said he wasn't your man all the way. So, you, you, you dealt with him. Knowing y'all weren't in an exclusive relationship, so you signed up and you were in agreement. Your grown woman, you participated, so you got to take that responsibility. So now that you know, no, yes, yeah. So yes. as you and listen, the, the lesson to that is maybe only deal with men that you can have an exclusive relationship with because your right. heart is attached. Right. But if you you didn't say he cheated on you, you told me he was your child's father, but y'all weren't together, which means you knew. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you. No, you're absolutely right. I just, you know, sometimes you go through things and you got to um, take yourself back to a level of really understanding what you did and what you didn't do. That's why I gave him the money back because I, I realized my wrongdoings and I'm not, I'm not that out there. Like, you know, but, you know. Okay. Hold the fuck up. Wait, 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 wait a damn minute together which means you knew you know what <laughs> i agree with you. no you're absolutely right i just it took kendra to say that for you to realize you fucked up well you say you paid it back to him but still i have a question since y'all say y'all have emotional intelligence, a lot of women say they have multiple emotional intelligence. Let me ask you this. Multiple, most, uh, emotional intelligence requires you to be able to, to communicate properly. This woman just proved that a lot of women can't control their tempers. When shit don't go their way or something happens that fuck up the relationship, they go, they get out of, they get out of pocket and get out of character and end up going insane. So my question to you ladies is this. Since you're always saying that women are more emotionally intelligent than men, why is it that y'all continue to put yourselves into situations and then act irrational when shit don't go your way? You know, sometimes you go through things and you got to um, take yourself back to a level of really understanding what you did and what you didn't do. That's why I gave him the money back because I, I realized my wrongdoings and I'm not I'm not that out there like, you know, but 
you know. Okay, so now moving forward, do you think you have your temper under control? Absolutely. So you won't break nobody else's windows? I would never. Okay. I believe okay. in property. She said not no more. She said she believes in property. Now, who else believe that damn fact? I believe in property. So, that tells me at the time of you doing this shit, you didn't believe in property. And respecting people's property, and you don't... Because I know, I went through a situation with somebody after that situation, where somebody disrespected my property, they stole from me. You know, so... I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that again. I would never disrespect somebody property. Okay, fair enough. Now, you don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the mm -hmm. last time you were intimate with someone? How like three, three months ago. Okay. Three flaws you have to work on. I would still say my temper because it does linger. My temper, um, my communication and my health okay. hell yeah okay. yeah and why do you think you're single well we kind of just talked about your temper your communication and your health so your temper needs to be dealt with you can't really communicate that well Hmm. Temper, communication, health. Hmm. I guess. About that. So we'll move forward. Why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Why would he be lucky? Yes. I feel like I'm a breath of fresh air. Um, I feel like I don't subscribe to um, the dating scene, I I have old, old school values. I believe in cooking. Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a damn minute, wait a motherfucking minute here. Repeat that again, ma'am. Why would he be lucky? Yes. I feel like I'm a breath of fresh air. Um, I feel like I don't subscribe to um, the dating scene. I, I have. You feel like you're a breath of fresh air and you don't subscribe to the dating scene. What does that mean? You don't subscribe to the dating scene. Okay. If you don't subscribe to the quote unquote dating scene that you're talking about here, let me ask you this question, man. Why do you have a baby daddy? Hmm? There's only one there's only one reason why you have a baby daddy. And that's because you got with a man that everybody else want and you just proved that shit. So don't sit here and say that you wasn't that you wasn't uh, attracted to this man. Um you got with a man that didn't really give a damn about you. And he smashed you and you got attached just by what you've been saying on this podcast, ma'am. So these are your words, ma'am, not mine. These are your words. And you continuously can make bad decisions. You're 34, have a damn face tattoo, and I'm thinking you have two of them because I can't see you on the left side of your head. And you have a neck tattoo, you got big ass, crazy eyes, you have come catches on your eyelids, a nose piercing, two baby daddies that were not committed to you. So this tells me that you're not a breath of fresh air or a woman that actually or a woman that actually subscribes to old school values. You dumbass. Have old school values. I believe in cooking, cleaning, and being somebody for your man. Um, I believe in being a woman first and I believe in understanding, respecting your man. And I just have like this rush in me to be a provider 
in more ways than financial. So, okay. yeah. Do you want more kids? I'm not opposed to having one. Okay. Can you have kids already? Yes, yeah. yes of okay. course. Okay. All right, so let's do it. We got Sugar, New Jersey. She works in insurance. Mom to two kids, 34. What's the age range you would date? I would go up to, I would, I would, the lowest would be 25 and the highest would be 60. You would go all the way to 60? I would. Okay. I would go up to, I would, I would, the lowest would be 25. Why would you want a 25 year old? Why would you want somebody my age? What? Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. What is somebody my age offering you other than a headache? So that tells me you really don't make good decisions. You want somebody my age, man? Only thing we gonna do is screw and bolt. That's the only damn thing we're going to do is screw and bolt. Why would you even, why would you put yourself in that position, that predicament to where somebody my age group dates you and fuck your life up even more? Like I said, you don't make good decisions. You make shitty decisions and then expect people to forgive you on your, based upon your decisions. You said this shit. I didn't. And the highest would be 60. You would go all the way to 60? I would. Okay, tell me why you want to go um, almost double your age. Because I feel like the older you get, the smarter you get. And I would love to be with a partner that you could learn more from. And, you, you know. The older you get, the smarter you get. Well, I beg to differ because there's a lot of older women that's dumb as fuck. Sorry to say that, but it's true. Even the older women that's on my podcast that watch my podcast say the same shit. There's a lot of older women that's still stuck on stupid. Yep. I have plenty of them that say that. Or lots of them do, actually, in fact. I don't, I don't have to damn, I don't have to lie about that. Y'all know it's true. Everybody know that shit true. Okay, okay. All right. And should he be in New Jersey? No, I would I, I would probably go a hundred miles out. hundred miles out. All right, let's do it. Are you on the Kendra G singles dating app? No, I'm not. Okay, you gotta download it. Will your name be shook? You can make your name. You can make your name and then also have a username. So is your username, your nickname Sugar? S-U-G-A? Yeah. Yes. All right. So what do you have, an iPhone or an Android? An iPhone. Go to your app store, type in Kendra G Singles, download the dating app, set up your profile, make your username Sugar if it's, it shouldn't be taken, and people can search you by names. They can search you by that name. Okay. What's your real okay. name, too? Is it real, your real name Susan? Yes, that's my real name. Okay. So Susan Sugar. Y'all look for it. Sugar, she spells S-U-G-A. Yeah, this one was a red damn flag. Ain't no way in the red scent hell. Ain't, ain't nobody gonna damn deal with this shit. I'm sorry. Ain't nobody about to deal with this. This woman is a this woman is a damn walking red flag and walking um She's a walking red flag. Ain't nobody about to deal with this shit. I'm sorry. Nobody wants to deal with a baby mama that's still stuck on their boy, they ex, baby daddy. I mean, they baby daddy. And you can tell she's still stuck on him. You can tell. I don't. I don't even understand why they come on this damn show looking for somebody to damn accept them. Meanwhile, they still they still on their ex. I don't understand that. If you want, if you, if you want a new man, you're going to have to come in ready, not still stuck on your baby daddy. This woman ain't healed. This woman ain't nowhere close to being healed. This woman is still stuck on that meat stick that that man just shoved in her behind, her, just shoved in her. Man, ain't no way. 
Anyways, like, share, subscribe, channel, support the podcast on spotify.com. I will catch you guys on the flip side. Thank you guys for listening. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.